All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Some more The Walking Dead season 8 episode 10 is here today. And last episode, we got to see the send off of the one and only Carl. Carl. Yes, Carl. <laughs> You know, um, it was a very sad episode, teared up a little bit. Um, you know, I did a video, put it out yesterday. If you haven't, if you have not seen that video, if, you, if you're seeing this, you're probably watching this on Monday. I put the video, video out on Friday night. So if you have not seen that video, make sure you check it out. It's basically my take on the whole Carl situation on the reason why you know, I think people hate or, you know, give gave up on the show as season eight or they say season eight is bad is maybe because of Carl, what happened to him. So um, I just dive a little bit deeper into that and give my opinion on certain things that's been going on for the season so far. We're halfway through the season, got about seven episodes to go. So we'll see how things go. Anyways. I appreciate you guys. That's all I have to say for the intro. I will see you guys for the review. All right, so that was season eight, episode 10. Man, oh man, oh man. Negan, Negan, uh, I wonder what he's going to do when he finds out that Simon killed all the, the garbage people. I don't think he's going to be very happy about it. I don't think he will kill Simon, though, for it. Maybe he will. Who knows? That man is... There's an imbalance in his brain that is unexplainable. You know? Um, but this was, again, very, you know, slow episode. They've slowed, slowed it down again um, from, you know everything because you know the grieving has to happen and it's you know and i you know i don't mind it i don't mind this was a visual episode we only saw rick michelle negan simon as the the major players right now who else did we see i think that was it we didn't see anybody else other than um maybe keep jadis that's her name jadis so yeah so pretty much this was a slow episode. I don't really have much to say about it other than the fact that Negan is a freaking psychopath. Like, he's not a guy you can really reason with. And I get what Rick is saying also where he's saying that, you know what I'm saying, we're far apart past peace right now. Like, and I agree. I can't allow you to live. I can't allow, like, Carl begging them to stop. It's too late at this point. It's too late. And it became too late from the moment he killed Glenn and Abraham. It's too late, in my opinion, for peace. Negan needs to die to let everybody else stop with this foolishness. I think everybody will stop if Negan dies. Um, you know, Simon and Negan having a falling out, you know, that may have been, you know, seen for a long time now. It's coming. You know, they were, it was brewing during the, the meeting they were having before Rick um, and them attacked the sanctuary. So, kind of could have seen that coming. But at the same time, it was well done. The tension between them is getting high. Him not obeying what Negan is saying. Negan is saying, people is a resource. Stop killing people. Don't kill them off because we need the people. You know what I mean? Um, so... At the end of the day, the interactions are always going to be some of my favorites in the show, Rick and Negan. So I'm definitely looking forward to see what they're going to do next. I got three more episodes to go before I finish reacting for the night. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.